what's up beautiful people in this video i'm gonna show you how to create sleeping perches for your chickens okay the fun way the right way and using recycled wood let's get to it what's up beautiful people and welcome to another episode of don't keep up with don't keep don't keep up with the joneses don't, don't keep up with the don't keep up with the joneses don't keep up with don't keep don't keep up with the joneses don't, don't keep up with the don't keep up with the Ba -ba 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 What's up, beautiful people? It's me, Ricky Jones Jr., and I am back again with another video. And like I said, in this one, we will be building uh, sleeping perches, sleeping quarters for the chickens, okay? Now, I'm having to build this because of the dilemma that I had in my coop um, before, which I did a video on that. Go check that one out with the nesting boxes, okay? But now we have a solution, okay? And this solution is going to be something that you could use as well. I am using 100% recycled wood. Um, I even start walking around trying to find wood and I found wood in the home and it's like okay I'm gonna just use it so without further ado I'm gonna go ahead and get it to it and of course before any bill you have to do measurements pre-cuts and things like that so I did some of those but I'm gonna do the majority of the other well, I'm gonna do the rest of everything in this video so make sure you stay tuned and uh, hopefully we'll get to see the chickens jump on it okay or interact with it more than anything which it's funny how they interact with everything new to the coop so let's go ahead and get it to it and if you're new to the channel it's the first time watching the video Video. If you could, if you would, smash that like button. And if you love what you see, go ahead and click that subscribe button because I promise you, more fun is to come. So let's go ahead and get into this build. All right, so you all can see the tools of the tray. I am using a miter saw. I have a table saw. Here is some recame pallet wood. Here's some wood that I had in the back from a previous build. Some more uh, pallet wood and things like that that will be used for the legs. Here's some wood that I have from a bed frame, actually, that I did not use, which will be used for um, the top parts. Of course, you got to have your uh, triangle scenario for your right angles for your cuts. And then I have this here pad because I am working on the floor. And so here we are, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, you got to have a screwdriver and you know things like that. So let's go ahead and get into the cutting. Alright, so after all your cuts are made, the next part is assembly, which is really the fun part because you get to see your work come to life, okay? And so, I will assemble it here in the garage and then take it to the coop itself. I measure, make sure I can make it through the door, so make sure that is a thing if you are, you know, building it outside of the area in which it's going to be. Make sure you do it in a size in which you can enter it or bring it in wherever the apparatus, home, house, coop whatever it is that you are using it for. So, all right, let's go ahead and get to the assembly. And uh, yeah, man, <laughs> one more step closer. So after laying down my wood, I realized, man, I cut something wrong. I messed something up. So what I did do was make an adjustment to the front bar area and just cut that uh, pallet wood in half, which came out to like 21 inches. And so from there, I was able to not even have to use that small mini piece of wood, which I really wish I did not cut that wood, but hey, it happens. And so here, I'm just making sure that the bottoms are even, making sure everything is even. So three inches off the ground is what I went with, just in case I wanted to push anything into the ground, just to make any things stable and everything stable and so again I went there and did it there and then I would have put the second board at the top area but it worked out that I did not have anything there just to put all the emphasis on the top boards and so just doing it on one side obviously if you do this on the other side you just do it invertly okay and so that's there you know
<laughs> all right great people so now we have a finished product what you see behind me but more than anything let me show you uh the little nuances that went along with it great people so here we are here it is and it's glory which you can see the sheer differences and levels is very astronomical more than i actually intended for it to be but hey it's a diy so i'm gonna give it a try and see what happens also the width of it is actually wider than i expected and thought it would be but nonetheless we're okay okay i did add the support beam on the back area of the whole uh bar area just to make sure it's nice and sturdy because who wants to sleep in a unsturdy situation <laughs> but nonetheless here we are and then um as you can see here we have i didn't do it um i forgot the word but i did it the same way as opposed to the opposite way so obviously the beams are on the same side which i don't think the chickens will hold me to it <laughs> uh, but if i was doing this for somebody i definitely would make that correction okay just to make sure everything looks nice and neat being that it's in their house not my house but nonetheless here we are ladies and gentlemen we have the two bars here which i believe that the chickens uh, the ladies will love okay and so let's go ahead and take it to the back and see how they interact with it off of the initial uh introduction all right let's go all right so i thought to myself hey i probably should sand down the wood and so i did want to make sure the cracks the size and things where i put the screws down were nice and smooth so that's what i'm doing be sure to sand too <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, and just like that, ladies are out with the old, and they are in with the new, and with their new sleeping quarters, in which I'm excited about. They've already taken to it, as you've seen them already on it, and the cool thing is I put some little uh, food at the top just to, you know, encourage them to go to the top, in which it did work. Some of them did, which usually, if one or two does, the other two will. They'll see it. Boom, shakalaka. They'll be curious, and the main thing that I do want to say is make sure you're um, roosting bars are stable okay because as I was watching them jump from the top or she yeah from the bottom to the top I was like oh man I'm glad it's not like wobbly which they probably would not take part in it so you know keeping all those things in mind in which I'll make sure I come back out um, later tonight just to check in on them see how they're doing and uh, you know yeah so Huh, fun times. All right, great people. So I love you all. I appreciate you all. It is so, oh, so hot outside. So I am going to go in. In this day, I did put some food in their uh, food area just to make sure everything was nice and right. So, you know, in and off this day, nice. In a couple of hours, I'll come back out just to see how <clears throat> they've taken to the roosting bars area. So until then, great people, I love you all. I appreciate you all. Thank you for staying tuned. I'm tired. I'm going to go in there. All right, y'all. Love you. Peace. Ah!